When the pulpwood is delivered from the forest, it is stored in piles in the woodyard before being loaded at the timber feed using a log stacker. In Halster, almost 3,000 cubic meters of timber are used per day, which is equivalent to more than 75 fully loaded timber trucks. First, the logs are washed with steam or hot water to remove gravel and sand and melt away snow and ice in the winter. The pulpwood is fed into the debarking drum, which is a large rotating metal cylinder with flanges on the inside. The drum has a slight incline, which ensures that the logs move slowly forwards in the feed. When the logs pass through the debarking drum, they tumble around and rub against one another, thus loosening the bark from the timber. The bark is collected and used for bioenergy or as a soil improver. After the debarking drum, the timber passes a stone trap, where stones that have been brought in with the logs fall off. Next, there is a metal detector that can detect very small pieces of metal, even as small as drawing pins or nails. All metal must be removed to avoid damaging the equipment later on in the process. The logs are then fed down a chipper chute, where they fall onto a rotating disc with sharp cutting blades, which converts the timber into wood chips. The chips are conveyed from the chipper chute to a screening house via a screw conveyor. It is extremely important for pulp quality that the chips are of the right dimensions, which is why all chips pass through a size screener to sort the chips according to size. Pieces that are too large pass over the screener and go to the shredder, where they are cut into smaller pieces before they fall onto the conveyor belt again. Pieces that are too small are used for biofuel. The finished chips are finally transported on the conveyor belt to three chip silos, where they are stored while waiting to be converted to paper pulp. When all three silos are full, there are enough chips to produce paper pulp for up to 28 hours, which provides a valuable buffer in the event of production disruptions. <laughs>